Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal High Queen. So today we are going to do a general reading for the collective. Let's see what's the energy for today. Before we jump right in, I would like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you all my viewers for your likes and your comments. It's I'm really motivated and I feel really good to read all your comments and to have all your likes. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Um, if you want to know more about me, my details are given in the description box below. All right, so I've already cleared the energies in this space and I have pre-shuffled my cards. So we are good to go. Let's jump right in. All right, so what is going on today, please? What are the energies for today? What does the collective needs to know for today, please? Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We have the tower. All right. So, there can be a very sudden, sudden realization of some kind today. This also means there's, okay, now this is a big aeroplane. There are a lot of aeroplanes like landing. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of flights coming in today. So anyway, uh, just um, don't mind the background noise, guys. Okay, so we have the tower here. So this is some kind of a news. Okay, this is a news that is coming in today. It, it can be very sudden. It can be shocking. But this is some kind of some some news coming in today. All right, let's see. Why is the tower here? Oh, okay. So this is this is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is looking at his left and the the left is always the past okay so someone here might be an earth sign it might be a scorpio with a tower card but someone here is looking at their past and they are realizing that there are some sudden realizations looking back at the past. So this can be you. This can be your person, whoever you are inquiring about. Let's see. Someone is looking at the past and there are some sudden shocking realizations now that they are looking back. Okay, they, they might have not realized uh, whatever this is in the past, but today there is a very sudden realization, something shocking. It is so shocking and it, and it is so sudden that it has the, like it is literally moving earth beneath their feet, okay? It's, it's something unbelievable, whatever this is. All right, let's see. What is going on here, please? Okay, so this is the judgment card. We have two mirrors here facing each other. We have two pyramids here in the background. We have the sun and the moon. So this can definitely be your twin flame. Okay, because we have mirrors, pyramids and the sun and the moon. So this card is highly symbolic of a twin flame. And look how these mirrors are facing each other. So it's it's like this knight can be, most probably this is the masculine in the twin flame uh, scenario. The masculine has a sudden realization today that he needs to come face to face with his divine feminine. Okay, this can also be a very strong soulmate it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but if you are inquiring about a very strong soul connection, a soulmate, this can also be that, all right? So just take it how it resonates. 
we have capricorn energy earth heavy uh, earth energy okay we already have two major arcanas here so yeah so this night he has a sudden realization today that he needs to come face to face with his feminine okay with this person okay three of cups in the reverse So with the three of cups, it looks like if there was a third party in the mix, it's not there anymore. Okay, this this knight has made a judgment that he wants to be with his true divine counterpart. That's what he's realizing today. Okay, let's see. And this with the knight of pentacles, this might have been a long time coming. It might have taken this person a long time to realize this. Like I'm talking about more than six months or maybe years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 616 on the clock, guys. If that resonates with anybody. Okay. Yeah, so incoming. Three of Wands is incoming. Okay, that's what I'm saying. This knight has the realization, this masculine most probably has the realize a very strong realization today. It's not just some, you know, light, oh yeah, oh yeah, I need to do that. Not that kind. I mean, oh my goodness, I have to do that. So that it, it's that strong, okay? He knows that he needs to come face to face with his feminine now. Because otherwise, also with the three of cups in the reverse, there will never be a reunion. Okay, so we have three, three of cups and three of wands. So definitely there was a third party here. Okay, which is not there anymore. But again, he realizes that there cannot be a reunion. He needs to come in now. The ships need to come in now. This cannot wait much longer. All right, let's clarify. Why is the Tower card here, please? Why is the Tower here? See, I told you. This is the King of Wands. So Sagittarius energy might be a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. But this this king in this deck, look how his wand is all all you know lit up. And he's and this king is also looking at the past because he's also looking, you know, on the left side. So left side is always about looking at the past, and the right side is always about looking towards the future. So this knight is looking at the past and he knows he needs to take action. So this is the sudden realization today. It is so strong that, I mean, this this guy, like this masculine, this king, he was a knight before. But now he's in the king energy. Okay, this, this has been a long time coming with the knight. But now he's in his king energy. So strong realization. He's ready to take leadership. He's ready to take a step further. So if you are a divine feminine in the twin flame scenario or even a strong soulmate scenario, your masculine is about to make his move. Okay, so this is, this is the shocking news that you might have been even waiting for with the Three of Wands. You might have been waiting for this. All right, let's see. What else, please? What is going on here today? Eight of Wands. See, I told you. So Eight of Wands in the reverse, below the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight has been, he, had, he has been stuck. This has this is a long time coming. That's what I'm saying again and again. This this person has realized that he needs to take action after a very long time. Okay, months, maybe years. He was stuck. His situation was stuck. Yeah. So this can be seven of pentacles. It it might have been a financial situation that was stuck but with the judgment 
and the seven of pentacles this this king realizes that he needs to put effort he need, he wants to manifest this basically he wants to give his energy now into this connection he's really desiring to manifest all right something about something about a crescent moon here we also have the sun and the moon together so this can be around the eclipse which is going to come in i think it's on 19th of november okay so again we have the moon here and we have sun and moon so it's a solar eclipse i i believe and it's on 19th november okay so around that time you might come face to face with your masculine if this is a divine feminine watching okay but this is not far away again with the with the tower card the scorpio energy i think that's that scorpio season 19th november is is it, it comes in scorpio season 1117 on the clock guys okay so i think this is definitely a twin flame situation but take it how it resonates hmm so yeah so this person has taken a long time to come in and he now wants to invest because see how this tree is growing up and there are fruits like there's fruition the pentacles are all there and on this tree so yeah that's what he's desiring okay so let's see why is the three of cups in the reverse here please why is the three of cups in the reverse here yeah so he sees the bigger picture with a hierophant look how this pyramid there are stairs okay this this masculine he was at the bottom of this pyramid earlier okay he has climbed he has taken the the effort he has put the effort to climb all these stairs which is symbolic of ascension so it looks like the divine feminine has been really working on herself okay oh my goodness we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck so if you are coming across pictures or videos of swans or flamingos okay like it's it's highly symbolic of a twin flame connection okay and if especially if you are watching couples like two birds two swans two uh two storks or pigeons or doves okay it is highly symbolic that you are about to meet your twin flame this is symbolic of him coming towards you and this is this is not in dream state or energetic this is physical guys okay this there's there is a physical reunion for some of you on the horizon wow so with the hierophant it looks like the masculine is now looking at the bigger picture okay he has taken uh the pain to climb these stairs and now he's able to view the bigger picture he's understanding whatever went down in the past with the karmic with the three of cups and three of wands the third party whatever went down with the karmic whatever went down with his divine feminine he's now he's now able to understand why it all happened why did <clears throat> it not work with the karmic or anyone else for that matter and why is the divine feminine always on his mind that is the sudden sudden and shocking realization that he is going to experience today wow this is powerful guys this is extremely powerful okay too many cards why is the three of wands here please what is incoming here what is incoming again there is a sense of him realizing that there is a very strong 
past life connection with his divine feminine because we have two pyramids here. Again, we have two mountains here. And in my readings, whenever I see pyramids or mountains in the background, it is extremely symbolic of a past life connection. So the divine masculine also realizes that this connection is not ordinary. This is something extraordinary because he has not experienced this or felt this ever before all right why why is the three of wands here please why is the three of wands here okay so page of swords in the reverse with temperance in the reverse okay so this is incoming because with the page of swords in the reverse, it's like this news which is now incoming today, he, he really did not expect this to happen, okay? It had all this confusion, this internal conflict that has been going on within him. It had, it had really put him in a very emotionally turbulent situation with the temperance in reverse. He was completely out of balance. He could not think straight. Whatever information was coming in front of him, whatever divine or angelic guidance was being pre presented to him in form of angel, num angel numbers, maybe songs or videos or thoughts or feelings, he was not trusting it. Okay? And it only made things worse because he just went out of balance completely. Okay, so this with the three of wands, that is why he, he might have been waiting because he was not trusting himself, his feelings. But with this tower being the first card of, of the reading, this is, I mean, this is groundbreaking for him. Whatever he is experiencing today, this is going to change everything because, again, Scorpio energy is all about transformation. It's all about change. Something big is coming, guys. Something big is going to happen in your connection. Most probably before the end of November 2021. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else? What else, please? Why is judgment here? Oops, cards don't want to come out, it feels like. it's it, They're just slipping from my hand. They don't want to come out. All right, why is the judgment here, please? Empress. Wow. With... The High Priestess and the Devil. Three major Arcanas, guys. You are so intimidating to your masculine. It's like, it's, it's crazy. Empress and High Priestess is as it is. I mean, these two women in the tarot, nothing compares to them, okay? You are the Empress, extremely beautiful, no comparison of your beauty, okay? You are abundant, you are fertile, you are, you are mother, motherly, you are nurturing, okay? We have leaves here on her breasts, so something about your breasts. Your masculine loves your breasts, okay? I mean, it, it might not be even wrong if I say that... <laughs> You know, he would like a taste of the nectar, if you mean what, if you know what I mean. Something about papaya leaves. I don't know if you, if you recently had, if you purchased a papaya plant, maybe if, if you came across papaya leaves, it's autumn season, papaya leaves falling down, something about a papaya. We also have banana and a pomegranate. Anyway, but he finds you extremely beautiful, fertile, and nurturing. Your heart is open to love, and he loves that about you, okay? But then again, we have the high priestess, and this woman is, look how, how 
like her style is different okay she is extremely stylish you might have short hair like till like a blunt uh, cut maybe below your ears okay but you are a manifester because this high priestess whatever she is thinking it, it looks like she had this in one hand but then in the other hand it became this okay and there's something about flow you go with the flow you are not against the current you go with the flow okay and that is why you are intuitive you are in tune with your emotions and feelings again your third eye is open you look at things from a higher perspective okay your masculine with the night energy he might have been a bit immature in the past but you always have this empress energy you embodied this empress and high priestess energy and now i think because of that you know the two mirrors mirroring each other facing each other your masculine has like he has he held on to your energy and i think he has now become a king he's in this king energy now so he has he he's really inspired to become the his better version okay but this is intimidating guys i i will not lie to you he is extremely intimidated by your personality your your aura okay and the fact that you already intuitively know what he wants what he desires okay he you know that he knows <laughs> that he desires you okay and he's terrified of the fact that you already know it's it's embarrassing okay so he's still walking through his fears hmm Wow, this is this is a very powerful reading today. So something big is about to happen today. Yeah. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck and two of swords. So I told you he has been blocking himself, his feelings, his intuition. he has been blocking himself earlier to come face to face you know with you two of cups this is basically i love you god so he wants to tell you that he is in love with you but he has been blocking restricting himself for so long maybe months maybe last maybe last 6 months or 5 or 6 months he has been wanting to tell you desperately that he is in love with you but he's just holding on he's just holding himself back that is changing so from today something big is happening it's going to change very soon all right oh my god so again four of wands in the reverse this is extremely sudden this will be sudden okay you will not be prepared for this you are not expecting this but you might have been waiting for this to happen but whenever this happens it it's going to be very unexpected very sudden for you okay so these again are twin flame cards for me so we have taurus libra pisces scorpio sagittarius and capricorn energy um very heavily in this reading okay it's just energy again not necessary if the zodiacs are not resonating but it's just energy guys all right what is the outcome of this reading in the near future what is the outcome please of this reading thank you what is the outcome of this reading please I told you taking steps he he his intention has changed okay something big is happening guys because this is again with with the spirit and the ascended masters 
I told you there's a dove here. So if you are coming across a pair of doves, swans, storks, cranes, okay, birds in pairs, it's it's it is extremely symbolic that your divine counterpart is is I mean he's approaching you in the physical, all right? Because his intentions are now to take steps towards you. This is a big castle and this woman is running towards the castle okay so this is what he is picturing so you are the you are this castle you are the queen of this castle okay and this person he's taking steps towards the castle because maybe this person also now realizes that he deserves to live in this castle with his queen or his king whatever or her king, okay? It's just energy, not gender specific. But yeah, the intention is changing today. It's it's not stuck anymore. Okay, they are highly intending to come towards you. Divine Feminine. Okay. So just one last card. What is the what is the guidance for my viewers, please? Watching this video. What is the guidance, please? What is the guidance for my viewers, please? Watching this video. What do they all need to know about this? What is the guidance for my viewers? This is a very big deck, heavy deck. It's like a workout of palms with my hands. Okay. Workout for fingers, sorry. Oops, okay. Oh my God. The Great Mother is the Empress energy. I told you there's something about your breast. This baby is suckling milk from, from its mother's breasts. Okay. And there are flowers coming out of her lower area. Okay. Again, we have two mountains in the back and this looks like a belly so the breasts and the belly okay so your divine masculine has plans to with the rebirth again this is the scorpio energy transformation he is definitely this can be in november guys in the scorpio season but definitely he's coming towards you Okay, because this is what he's picturing. He wants you to be his wife, the mother of his child. With the bear, he wants to protect you. He wants to provide you with the owl. He knows now, he's looking at the bigger picture from a higher perspective, that this was always meant to be with the rabbit here, the hare. This is extreme sexual passion and desire to multiply okay because rabbits multiply very quickly so yeah and with the flowers coming out of her lower area it, lo it looks like he 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 wants to just keep making you you know come or orgasm he, he doesn't want to stop okay he, ca he can't get enough of that so that's what i'm feeling from these cards yeah. Well, so this this might also be with the flowers in the background. It it might also be in the spring season, in the coming spring season. This can be in November, this can be in February, March if you are in the northern hemisphere of earth. This can also be spring season, the harvest. Anyway, so that's what I'm seeing. Again, this woman is wearing sun and moon as earrings. So something around the eclipse, which is happening on 19th of November, guys. Okay. Um, but anyway, it's a general reading, so might not resonate for everybody. But if this, this whole reading resonated with you, there's a very strong chance that you might come face to face with your divine masculine around that time, around the eclipse in November. 
All right. So I hope this you enjoyed this reading and it helped you in some way. Um, sending you lots of love and light, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.